<laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Young Cast. Uh, so this is basically going to be a podcast uh, I'm doing with uh, my best friends. Uh, we're missing one right now, but uh, um, to give you a quick introduction, my name is Matt. Um, uh, hey, I'm Antonio. Hi, this is Paul. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be talking a bunch of random shit. Hope you guys enjoy. What do you guys do? You guys believe in aliens? Yes, hundred percent. Oh, definitely. For what reason? Well, I mean, think about it. Like, how many stars are there? Yeah. How many planets are around those stars? It's like it's almost infinite. At what chance are we the only one? Like, come on. The but amount what... of galaxies out there, it's statistically like it's it's almost asinine to think that there isn't. Like, but right? what about it's the... selfish? There, to think it that would there be isn't. ridiculous yeah. to think that there's four billion <laughs> planets and galaxies, but we're the only ones special enough. What about the people who? It's not. Be... They don't. All right. What about the people who don't believe in aliens, but not because you know God created everything and this is this is it, but the people who are like you know there's no there's no solid evidence like everything it's almost like it's almost like they're they're saying like almost everything that you see oh that's a UFO or that's an alien it's almost like watching a video from like a Bigfoot or like yeah you know it, it's not concrete enough it's almost like the the ghost hunter shows were like oh did you hear that. Yeah, like that's you know all I mean? just like stupid TV <laughs> shit. But like, but like, like him and I both said, it's. Do you it's think that's like, a logical reason to not believe in them? No, because no, but... it is still statistically impossible to think we're the only ones. I agree with that, but they do it's have a point mind. in saying that. Like, I mean, their their whole thing with God is based on faith, and I guess our thing is kind of based on faith too. Like, we just kind of assume that there's going to be more because there's so many planets and stars out there. Yeah, the recipe for life isn't that complicated to think that one out of well, I mean, even you could I just mean, pick like four thousand planets. I mean, we, we don't really know exactly how life starts. I mean, <laughs> I'm it's talking kind like of water, well, air, yeah, but and atmosphere, it's you know not. I mean? It's a it's a lot more complicated actually. It's like it's got to be perfect. Like it can't be too hot because mm-hmm. then nothing grows. It can't be too cold because nothing grows. Right. Like we are literally a, the perfect planet. We're in the Goldilocks. It's like getting the zone. fucking shower just right. Yeah, now. it's exa- exactly. Yo, did you know that over in, like, the United Kingdom and over in England and shit, they don't have a knob that goes hot and cold. They have a knob that does temperature. Yeah, but I'm not going to look at it and be like, like there's stuff oh, ahead. I'm not, <laughs> yeah, living, but, right? Yeah, I mean, 3, but, I'm, but, I, but I'm not looking at that like, all right, so about 85 degrees is going to be the perfect temp, you know? Like, I'm looking at it and be like, all right, right where it, it verges from blue to red, that's around, <laughs> right, right, like, around, eh, right, right in the middle, a notch over. Yeah, like, one notch, like, you can just tell, like... That's a little weird to me. I mean, they're also the ones who are driving on the wrong side of the road and <laughs> believe in the metric system. But, I mean, I mean no, no offense to anybody who's... Every, who's, like, other <laughs> fucking country not does from, that for us. I know, well, but, I mean, the we're also the metric system is a lot easier to understand. Well, we're also the ones who are like, ah, fuck soccer, but the rest of the world's like, I'll kill you if you, you talk <laughs> shit about soccer. But Wait, did the, is the World Cup over? Yeah. Who won? France. Really? Ah, France. Francois. They, oh, <laughs> France, oui, oui. France is is partying. Well, not as hard as Philly after the Eagles won the Super Bowl, but would you uh, say pretty. that <laughs> the French team had a certain je ne sais quoi? Is that what got them to the to victory? Yeah. No, I think I don't really know what that means. I don't think I don't. I, that could be a total like racial slur, and you were like, no, that, that, it there, means yeah. it's it's a French word for like having the right stuff. Oh really? It is. No, I've seen I it think, in so many I think movies they were just and shows. Professional athletes. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. They didn't flop enough, you know. Just... Another question is back on the alien topic: is yeah, do we you believe boys. in alien abductions? Do you believe the stories that people tell about that shit? Sometimes. Gotta wear my armadillo hat. Don't <laughs> <laughs> get me. My, my, my tin foil. Yeah. Um, when it comes to like that kind of stuff, I want to believe them, and I, I. The people who but like you act- see the shrooms in their no <laughs> no I mean I'm sure I don't know it's it's hard to say because sometimes you see the people and you can almost tell that there might be something else up wrong up there <laughs> but then but then like you have the people who are like oh you know like a lawyer or so or like a doctor's they swear and vehemently I, like like not lying. like they're like you can tell there's not like there's nothing wrong with them they're not crazy but you mean. They drive on the right side of the road. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It, it, it depends because there's. You know, it's just depending on how the person tells the story. I mean, they could be a really good storyteller, or they could be genuinely telling the truth. Um, I, I, if I'm if I'm gonna be the one to say, yeah, I believe in aliens, which I do, because I think it's also literally, it's it's stupid to think that we're the only ones out of the billions and billions and billions of stars. We're the only ones that have life, but. 
And you, I mean, if you think about it, like other civilization, alien civilizations could be what we call modern, but we're practically the fucking Stone Age. Oh my god, dude. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's possible that there's advanced civilizations out there, and we're just not up to par, and they're visiting. I mean, think about it. We have a fucking, like, 2018 Chevy Cruze, and, like, they're actually driving X-Wing fighters. Yeah, like, exactly. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, so the universe has been around for, like, 13-some billion years. Yeah. The Earth's only been around for, like, four and a half billion. Yeah. So, th- th- any other extraterrestrials had that much more time to catch up or we are ahead of them what if we are ahead of them there's also on top of but that but then they wouldn't be able to come visit and, and you know we've only been around abduct us is what i'm saying you like, know that's if we've only been around four and a half billion okay during the other nine and a half billion we weren't there they could have risen and fallen already they could have been fucking going hard and then wiped out before we even knew it before we were even a little maybe speck. all right now i'm getting really weird out here but like maybe like they had the same exact problems we did with like global warming and shit and they didn't atten- they didn't like pay attention to it and the global warming fuck them <laughs> i mean well, like what's going on i don't know about that but maybe you know, well hopefully by the time that happens i'm not here i hope we're on the hope i'm not here anymore uh, i hope by then they fix it <laughs> yeah, honest to god um what's bill and i will be okay bill but and I, will save I guess to answer your question i i think i think people have been abducted um, I think some people just make up stories or have issues and think they got up. Abdu- I don't know, but I think I think there has been people, you know, extraterrestrials who have visited and well, said, what's, you know, what's up? Yeah, a, I mean, I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I'm down. You know, if an alien wants to abduct me, stick a st- you know, oh, stick a prod up my ass. <laughs> nah, whatever, no thanks. Man. Whatever, but dude. I'd, ra- I'd whatever, rather not. That shit's even brought hey, up. The government's the, like, shh, didn't yeah. happen, didn't happen. It has to hush everything. I, I don't know. They, they jump they on, on that on shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? As long as they spit on it. My mom was watching a documentary on that, like, over Arizona. There's the most sightings and, like, some of them. Yeah, what's that town called? They have no fucking way of doing it. I don't know. Area 51's in. New Mexico, uh, Roswell, 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 yeah, yeah, it is. yeah Roswell. I mean, there that'd be like an alien no probable there. way of like. Well, they have the most. They've had like the most. Uh, just, like, just believe it. It's not real. Yeah, we swear it was nothing. I think. Uh, well, I think when it comes to that kind of stuff, like cover that shit. The up, government's right? hiding a lot, of, like a lot from Dude, us. You know, the president can't that. even legally go to. Air I think. I, I, I think the government hides a lot from us. I, I think the government hides a lot, but I feel like discovering life on another planet would be so groundbreaking that it would leak out but it, you'd be surprised what they yeah. could keep like the that, i think once we if we actually do learn that that's going to change the world but yeah but i think the government might not think that we're ready ready yeah and they're like <laughs> could okay be fallout 4 no nah, it, it would just like <laughs> because you i mean i don't know be i just don't i think we're world. we're warming up to it but i don't know we're in the microwave but <laughs> yeah I, I, whatever he said I'm right. preheat. Right. Yeah. Defrost. <clears throat> so here's a good question. All right. So I I'm read ready. this article, right? Do it. And uh, the scientist, I forget where he's from. It could be from like Germany or some shit. Uh, basically, he think he believes that within the next five years, he could basically recreate dinosaurs similar to Jurassic Park. I've read that article too yeah. on Snapchat. I don't know about <laughs> Snapchat. that. Snapchat. <laughs> Follow my Snapchat. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm <laughs> this is where I get my news. This, this, is where my, this is where I plug my Snapchat. <laughs> no, uh, but basically he thinks within the next five years he'll be able to, you know, recreate dinosaurs, but not like Jurassic Park where they take DNA from other animals to reconstruct the DNA strands or whatever. Mm-hmm. Don't want to get too complicated with They're it, but basically, like, yeah. what do you think about the possibility in the next five years that, you know, dinosaurs are coming back? I've been watching fucking documentaries on this kind of stuff ever since I was little because I love dinosaurs. And the science was already kind of explained to me uh, in a certain way about, like, they can turn on or off certain DNA strands with different genomes. Yeah, but here's what Uh, I'm saying. Like, I think it'd be awesome. They said the same thing in Jurassic Park. They're like, oh, well, we we engineered them so they can't do that. But then then they're like, fuck you mean? Like, they have done that already, though, where they've, like, had a chicken. Uh, get rid of the beak and had actual teeth and they they've already what? had my yes they've already had well, minor success with these things so yeah no and i and i think that they can obviously <clears throat> engineer the genetics to do a certain way but like 
just like the movie, they you know they say life finds a way. <laughs> well, I think you, you it, I think Goldblum, you, you know, yeah, but I'm thinking, but like I think I think you don't know what you're messing with, but I think it would, I think it would be pretty cool. Yeah. But I mean, they also have five movies of like, hey, this isn't a good idea. I, I don't know. I think we're advanced enough to be able to contain a T Rex. Like I mean, they, yeah, okay. so they, so did so did the past five Jurassic Park movies, but no, they <laughs> oh dude, it's a movie. <laughs> Yeah, like, but like in actuality, dude, we could build a big ass cage around that bitch. We'd be fine. I think it'd be awesome. They could save a lot of money on, you know, when they have hand, to do yeah, executions like lick your, lick your fingers like a dog. Yeah, anything with jail. T Rex lick. <laughs> it costs so much to uh, pump someone full of drugs or wasted ammo on like the firing squad to for executions. Just feed it to the T Rex. Don't even have to clean up. I don't know. I didn't just feed him. <laughs> It'll eat everything. All right, so we caught Saddam Hussein, so we just feed him to the T-Rex? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Like, Daisy's taking a big bite. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think I think it would be pretty cool. Um, I think it would upset a lot of people. We got him. Because a lot of people would feel that that's playing God and they're, you know, they're not on this yeah. planet anymore oh, for Jesus. a reason. No, I, know, and, I, I understand. No, you're right. It's just but, like, it makes me cringe because you're 100 percent right. They would like picket signs would be out like T Rex was asleep. And Let I'm him not... go back to bed. <laughs> like, like, like I like I said, I'm not religious, but I do think certain things happen for These a reason. These old bones already walked. <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, I don't know. It, I don't think we're meant to fuck with that shit. I think if they're gone, they're gone for a reason. Unless it was man made, then it's our fault. But. Yeah, like the dodo bird, they they literally slaughtered them, and oh they first God, came man. over here, and now you know now all I get to see is them in ice age. Or, they I destroyed mean, so that, many species. That's pretty it's so sad. It really with is. Elephants and uh, well, let's hope not. I don't, I don't want to have a kid someday and be like, "Daddy, what's an elephant?" And I'm be like, "Oh, you should have been there." It was his big ass mouth. So his right. big ass. Wait, uh, ton. He used to play Zoo Trump. Tycoon. There were these Trump. things called elephants. We don't have them anymore. <laughs> the Zoo Tycoon. Yeah. I literally be like, I, I would cry. That'd be terrible. So on a similar topic, right? Let me have it. What about uh, modif like you hear you're gonna have a kid, right? Yeah. If you go to the doctor, they can modify the genetics. So that they don't have like so issues like, with them, like birth yeah. defects and stuff. You can do all even that. I shit. mean like designer genetics. Like yeah, how you tall can... you want your kid, what color eyes you want. Yeah, you can pay that to do that shit. Fucking crazy. Would, I almost I would do it. That's rude. Or would you would just I do let it, it to chance? Like no. If it was proven that they could hand, like they could do it without any kind of like, if like I don't want them being like, oh yeah, we'll fix your kid, and then it comes out fucked up, looking like <laughs> looking like sloth from the Goonies, <laughs> you know? I don't. <laughs> do I, like, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, uh, I don't that is know. A concern. Like if they could guarantee me that, like, like if it was proven that it's a hundred, like a hundred percent, you know, success rate or like a ninety nine point nine, because they can't say a hundred, I'd be like, eh, it's pretty good because like. And, and I mean, there's nothing against like you know any any kind of kid with like autism or you know uh, Down syndrome or anything like that. Like, but yeah, my if you, autistic. but I, yeah, but I feel like it would take a lot of burden off of the parents knowing that oh you know my kid's gonna be okay. He's gonna be he's like gonna come out me personally. That, yeah. Me like, personally having you know the health um, health problems I have. If I were to have a kid and they could guarantee me that my kid wouldn't have to go through the th- same things I've gone through. I would do it in a heartbeat. That's yeah. my biggest fear, and that's one of the reasons. Like, I'm not sure if I want kids because I don't know if my kids gonna have the same problems I do. And yeah, it just no, scares I me. That. Yeah, but I think aside from the health aspect of it, like if if you're right, if there was a hundred percent guarantee, no problems, everything's gonna be fine. I, I think I really think the only thing I would do is eye color, because like <laughs> that eyes fascinate me. Like like the we looked it up. Statistically, the chance of uh, Emily and I having a kid with blue eyes because she's Chinese. Uh, we don't actually know all of her heritage because yeah. she doesn't know you she's from an orphanage. Yeah, yeah. but anyway, her. just if we Perfect did know, right it's like a less than two percent chance of our kid being born with blue eyes because it's not my, uh, you know, dominant gene, mm-hmm. and it's impossible for her side of the family. And I feel like that would be fucking awesome. That would break the internet. A blue-eyed Asian child. Oh, they have to exist already. They do. They definitely do. But, but I, understand, it's, I, understand, it's, I understand what you're saying. It's literally like you, we looked it, it up. It's like a two percent chance of happening. Yeah. Of being 2%. born naturally. So it, that would probably be the only thing I could do. I'd be like, I'll give you an, uh, like an extra two hundred bucks. To make sure he's got blue eyes. Like, you know, the more the more I the more I think about it, the more we talk about it. Like, and like the only reason I would do it is for health reasons. But I think. If you were able to like basically like be like build a bear but build a kid, 
Like, <laughs> I feel like build a brat. I, no, but I think build that, a brat. I think that takes the uniqueness out of the kid. TM. Yeah. No. I, yeah, I, nothing's I, I a agree surprise anymore. Nothing. You're gonna be like, well, at 28, he's gonna be six foot three and <laughs> yeah. built like a football player. You know, I think that would take all the. Here's where the hairline recedes. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, your doctor's gonna be. I don't know. With like a graph. Like, That's why right, so the here, only thing I point would do pen. is eye color. That's it. Like yeah. everything else, a mystery. But I would love to say, like, yeah. I yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they could do it. I don't Green I don't think it would happen eyes. for a while though. I think. Oh I think, no, that's. I'm, I yeah. thought that was something they can already do. Mm, I, read like a, I read a study stuff, about yeah, that. Maybe like, yeah, maybe like maybe like lab mice. Yeah. I read an article about like that. Animal I'm pretty tests. sure that's something them fucks can do. So here's here's one that is always interesting. Ghosts. Do you believe in them? No. No. Don't believe in ghosts. No. I want to say no. Like I really want to say yeah. no. But I got a cool story. I cannot watch I'd love to hear anything it. paranormal. Like, it freaks me the fuck out. So I really hope it's a no, but I'm open-minded enough to think, like, there's always a possibility. Brandon Miller. Uh, it would scare the fuck out of me. That's honestly one of my biggest fears, but I hope not. I don't believe in ghosts because... Antonio has a really long story that we're probably going to cut out anyway, but uh, <laughs> short answer, Just yes no. or no. no? No. Does not I, believe. I hope no. Okay, so I don't see, and this and this comes to the thing of being religious or not. Um, but I I think I think I think yeah I I like to think that there that there's ghosts. Um, talk about a story real quick. All right, it. so I got multiple multiple stories here. All right, so I have a friend or had a friend. I don't really talk to him anymore. His name is Austin. Not the one you're thinking of, but uh, anyway, his Shout brother. Out the scout, love you. <laughs> I don't even know who. He... Anyway, um, he had an older brother. His name was Nick, and Nick ended up passing away. Um, actually, right behind our uh, neighborhood in the industrial park. That sucks. Um, he was riding his four wheeler, and a uh, drunk driver veered around the corner, and uh, actually killed him. On his uh, four wheeler. Yeah, hit him, oh, hit, hit the four wheeler and terrible. Him. Yeah, it was it was years ago before I even like knew them, knew the family, or even was even living here. So this was well <laughs> over twelve years ago. Uh, but he, you know, he's told me all about his brother and all this other stuff, and he, he's like, yeah, even when I go to my aunt's, like we used to spend all our time at our aunt's, and it was like my brother's favorite place. When we go to our aunt's, like my aunt and uncle will tell me all the time they see Nick in the kitchen because that's where he always be, like just chilling and like. They're like because it was so sudden, they're not freaked out by it. Like at first, obviously, like if you saw you know your dead relative, you'd be freaked out. But like, it's kind of like almost welcoming because it's like oh it's Nick. Like a nice. Yeah. Call and he's like, and him. I didn't, and and he was somebody's like ah oh, like I didn't really believe him because it's like you know they could just be telling me that because I was at the time I was little, until he was like thirteen or fourteen and he was staying at his aunt's house and he like woke up in the middle of the night and was like ah I need a glass of water goes down and boom, said he saw his brother in, in the living or er, in the kitchen. Which is crazy, and I'm not. That I'm not gonna crazy. be like you're wrong. That never happened. Cause one, it's his dead brother. I'm, I'm not gonna be rude about it. But <laughs> yeah, uh, fuck your brother. <laughs> no, it, it's. I think. I don't know if it's if it's more like you know he woke up in the middle of the night. Obviously, and maybe he was sleeping still, but like thought he was awake, like sleepwalking or something. But um, on a on another note, like there's this there's this house right in Court's neighborhood. Court is my girlfriend. For those of you who don't know, which is probably most of you. Um, literally everybody. Yeah, literally everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but she lives in this neighborhood. It's a pretty nice neighborhood. Um, some decent houses in there. Um, but there's this one house that's kind of like on the very, very end of her neighborhood, right before you turn onto the main road. And, I mean, these houses are maybe like 15 years old. So not, not really old houses, not really brand new, but like they're new. And uh, families move in, into this house constantly. And like it's... It's not like I know any stories of what's going on inside the house, but, like, we've been dating for, like, six years, and I've probably seen 10, 12 families go in and out. They don't stay. Jesus. Really? They, and the lights are always on in the house. Every time I drive past it, lights are always on. I don't know if that's because, like, literally always on. Hmm. And these families only stay for, like, a couple months, and then they're gone. Dude, you want to hear something really fucked up? So you know that old house that I used to live in on uh, Route 10? Yeah. Right? Yep. A doctor used to live there with his family. And I don't know what year this was, but my mom told me this. But apparently... This podcast is brought to you by Miller Lite. Sponsor us. God damn it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 
apparently this doctor like murdered his entire family in that house oh nice i never liked your house i never liked that place either dude when we were moving out and all the rooms were empty and then michelle and i would go there and just kind of fuck around (laughs) yee like all the rooms are empty and i would just be walking through this house and i would be like i swear to god dude i'm gonna see something just like sitting in the middle of one of these rooms or something (laughs) yeah that's crazy like, the, house, the house always creeped me out because I, w- I went up I went into the attic and I was like cleaning up the attic this one time and I like I swear to god I heard this like noise of like wind going right past my ear like it was almost like a knife just like whoosh. oh really yeah oh, and then fuck. immediately after that the lights turned off I'm not even fucking with you I would've dipped I was like oh my god I would've been gone see like rest in peace twice like you can, like you can say like you don't believe in ghosts but like i feel like everyone at least either knows someone who's experienced something like that or like has a, like you're saying like has experienced it themselves yeah. and it's like things that like i'm there it might be some me. kind I'm of like logical <laughs> like logical reason like that it's something happened but it's like i don't know i feel like i like to think there there's ghosts that are like like danny phantom like you know like just chilling <laughs> and then like obviously the ones that are like I'll fucking kill you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, my mom always tells me she has a story from when she was very little. She woke up, mm-hmm. and it, it seemed like your friend. Woke up in the middle of the night, uh, and I think she was staying at, like, her uncle's house or something. And she looked up, and it was, like, a bright fucking light. And she said she saw this figure that she really didn't recognize because she was very little, but a figure standing over her, smiling. That's and terrifying. she she wasn't scared. Like, she said it was an odd, like, a very calming light or something. I don't know. She just said a she... calming aura. Yeah. Man. She said she felt very calm and at peace. And she thinks it was her great-grandfather or something, but she knows... Oh, interesting. She told me she wasn't scared because she was little. Yeah. And great just grandfather. went back that, to sleep. That dude's old. <laughs> yeah. And she said she just... She went back to sleep and that was that. And I was already, like... Fuck, I'm out of here. You know what's you know what scares the living shit out of me? It's it's all right. So I don't have like, I I have a hard time whenever someone's like, oh, what are you the most afraid of? I always have a hard time answering that question because I'm not really sure. Like I have things that terrify me. Afraid of everything. I have like adult fears. Like Like, yeah, obviously. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that kind of like all right. Well, me, I just graduated school. I don't want to talk about it. Um, anyway, but like, but, but like, I like. All right, so like I'm a I'm you know I'm a really good swimmer. Have a, swam on the swim team for years. So like it's not like I can't swim, but I have a fear of being in the middle of the ocean. Oh my god, dude, me too. I'm like I think I'd rather ocean. just kill myself. I don't go in the water at the beach. I like I I'm hate cool to with, go to the yeah, beach. Like, could you, I know you don't oh like my the god, water. That'd be, that'd be like terrifying. Terrifying. I'm terrified. But like of the water. that like and I'm going in the ocean. Drowned. I have no problem with the ocean. But and then like I don't have a problem going like deep sea fishing either. Like out on a boat like miles from shore. Mm-hmm. I don't have any problem with that. Yeah, as long but, as the boat's there. <laughs> yeah, but, like, the, the the thought of something happening, though, and, like, I guess, not even that, that doesn't even scare me. It's just the, it's just the idea of being on, like, a little raft and being yeah. in the middle of the ocean and not the, being able the, to see anything. The Jack, vastness of the ocean. Yeah, it was fucking Titanic, just that kind water, of shit. Water, every direction, that's yeah. all you can see. All you can that see, would that would terrifying. scare the shit out of me. I'm scared of that. Um, the ocean itself is terrifying. I'm, I, Dude, you have to respect water. It will fuck you up. In like, relation, you watch videos of like water just going through a trail, and there's houses just toppling yeah. because it's fucking water. Yeah, <laughs> but see, like, but that doesn't like, I don't know. Don't like, I'm water, also, kids. I've also been like weirdly afraid of sharks, but like, I'm fine with like you want seeing shark them. Week? Yeah, no, it doesn't. I think. It well, when I was little, when I was little, yeah, dude, shark week. When I was little, I, I watched <clears throat> Shark Week, and I think it fucked me up. Cause I saw a thing where like a boat flipped over and there's sharks everywhere and like for a while I was scared to get into the ocean and swim like it doesn't bother me now but like for a long time I was afraid of sharks like the being in the in the water with them scared me looking at them fine seeing them at like an aquarium fine mm-hmm. but the thing that terror there, there's being stuck in the middle of the ocean um I was a, I was very afraid of sharks and them like eating me. Um, but I don't have a problem watching, like, Jaws or anything. I think that shit's funny. Um, no. Uh, sleep paralysis. Oh, dude, I, I know it about that. It terrifies me. I watched Dumb, Stupid Enough of me uh, on Netflix. There's a documentary series about sleep paralysis. There is? I should watch yeah, it. Yeah, don't watch it unless, oh. like, especially right before you go to bed. Oh, hell no. Why uh, would you do that? <laughs> uh, it was a bad idea, but 
<laughs> and like I think I I, I honestly have think like think I've experienced it before, but not in the like these these are a lot of them are the same way of like I feel bad for people who are like chronic sleep paralysis victims. Mm-hmm. Like I think some I think everyone experiences it at least once in a lifetime. Yeah. Like I remember when I was at my grandma's once I was like in this one room and then I mo- woke up in the middle of the night and I was like wide awake but couldn't move and like I wanted to yell. Because it was weird that I couldn't move, and I could, I can almost remember like opening my mouth and trying to scream as hard as I could, but nothing was coming out, mm-hmm. and like it was just a very odd situation. A fly came out. No, <laughs> it was, but it was like, it, it's terrifying because like you hear the people who go through this like sleep paralysis, and like they see beings like dark yeah, they see, beings, like, de- like demons, demons, yeah, like and shit like, like, like these like real dark beings standing in the corner with like red eyes. Some people experience. Um, almost a, like a gargoyle sitting on their chest like yeah, it's very hard to the, breathe because you can't move so yeah. you feel like something's pressing you down but then like when they but they can see something sitting there on their chest <laughs> that's terrifying yeah dude that's i'd never sleep again <laughs> like yeah and like the, a lot of these right people there. a lot of these people like because they it's so terrifying they'll go days without sleeping until they absolutely have to and they pass out and then they wake up in the middle of the night and like basically their brain turns on, but when you go to sleep, your brain releases chemicals so that your body relaxes so that, like, you don't act out your dreams and mm-hmm. then hurt yourself. Right. So a lot of these people are basically, their bodies, yeah, well, exactly, like, I mean, I mean, you can't, you couldn't see anybody was, like, out here doing fucking kung fu karate. <laughs> uh, but that's, I mean, Your, your body does, that's what happens. Your body releases these, like, you know, these, these endorphins, I guess you could say, and doesn't let you act out your dreams and these people they'll wake up their brain's awake and they can see everything but they can't move because their body's still under the you know the chemicals and stuff yeah um but that terrifies me and like i don't know i have i had some 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 more irrational fears uh remember when 2012 was coming around and like everybody was like oh my god the world's gonna end yeah i panicked about that shit every day for like two years I was still, uh... That is anxiety, yeah. I had major anxiety. Now, I had, like, it was it was stupid shit that, like, would bother me. Like, and it, you know what? You know what really set it off? The, the fucking, uh, this History Channel, like, aliens. Like, when they would, when they would say, yeah, when they would say, like, the Mayans, like, pre- were predicting it. Like, it would get so deep into my head that I literally, like, I, would, I actually thought it was gonna happen. And, like... <laughs> Yeah, it was Dude, stupid, 20, irrational shit like that it used to drive me wild. 2012, even, I was I fucking five years away from losing my virginity. And, like, looking back now, like, that was still another five years away from 2012. So, no, that was, was one of my... Man, mom was, like, yeah. four months later. So, <laughs> so that was, was one like of my... Two uh, years earlier. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Four, it was 2016 when I did... Uh, it's okay. But you want to anyway. know something fucked up about? So I was terrified about that. I was like, I'm gonna fucking die a virgin. Like, <laughs> oh whatever, man. I'll never know, woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know the, the most was, fucked up part afraid. about like, my that? my irrational fear about like the world ending on? I, I still remember December twenty first, twenty twelve, right? Yeah. All right. So what I was terrified of was that it was a specific time. It was like six twenty one a.m. was supposed to be like. Some, it was all Gone. gonna go to shit. No, December twenty first, twenty twelve at six twenty one a.m. Okay. Why six twenty? I don't know. That's huh? that's the exact time that Is they that predicted 66? it, right? No, six eighty six would be seven oh six. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so I ended up waking up at like six. That that You're morning. Just waiting to that. I was like, God, I sat. Unready. I I fucking sat on the on the steps of uh, of my house, and I was like, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm awake. Let's do this. <laughs> you wait for the right? fucking side. No, listen, to listen, listen, listen. And I turn, I turn like the lights on when I wake up. I want to, I want to be able to see shit, right? Not so I turn the lights on. Six, six twenty comes. I'm like, all right, man. One more minute. One more minute. Six twenty one. I fucking shit you not. The power fucking shuts off. <gasps> really? The, the the neighborhood lost power at the exact time that like the world was gonna end. Oh my god. I, I started losing my shit. I, bet, <laughs> I, dude, I was I like, no, no, like. For me, I gotta call grandma. <laughs> I, I, I literally lost my shit, and then like five minutes went past, and I was like, oh, "All right, this is this is this is a slow start here." It ain't so bad. All right, power Walmart, turned off. Walmart's still open. Right, okay. Yeah. Walmart. But I mean, I mean, obviously everything turned out okay. We're still here, unless this is a, just this is my heaven. This is six years later, so um, I'm not no, a but like I, I, he thinks. Congratulations. He thinks, 
Uh, yeah. But that was one thing that, like, really, like, freaked me out. And, of course, uh, the exact time when it was supposed to end, but the fucking power to my neighborhood shuts off. I'm pretty sure I remember getting a, a text from Ange or you, somebody. Or, like, yo, we made it or some shit. It's like, probably, when, when it didn't happen. probably Ange. I even, I think that's when I told Cord that I liked her. I was like, hey, just in case you know, I like you. <laughs> ended up, and yeah, then we ended up dating, like, five days later. So. Yeet. Yeet. Yeah. I remember, uh, 2012. December 21st, mm. 2012, uh, that was the day I got my license. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I had did my license. Did we get our license on the same day? I think we did. Yeah. Or no, I got mine the 18th. <clears throat> yeah, it was close, I remember. Yeah, that. ours were close. That was crazy. Crazy to think that was so long ago. Six All years right, ago, dude. Have you guys ever had any kind of near death experience where, like, you actually thought, like, fuck, I'm, I might die? Only one time. Only one time? I, I'm i trying to remember, but I feel like I have to say yes. And I can't remember why, but I was terrified. I mean, it, it could be, like, to the point where you're so scared. Like, I mean, just the. I'm not saying, like, you you literally almost died, but, like, you had that experience. Like, like you had that thought, thought of, like, you were like, oh my god, like, this is serious. In the, in the car once, yeah. In a car once when he's yeah, going out. It, <laughs> no, that was just gooning in the fucking rain. <laughs> uh, that's all it was. A, a boy and his pal gooning around the fucking turn in the rain. No. Uh, it wasn't even my fault or anything. I just, some guy like lost his shit in the snow. And <clears throat> I was lucky enough to get around him, but he was he was hauling and sliding right at me. And I was like, this is it. My car's totaled. I'm going to get hurt. I rain might die. <laughs> Uh, I think I was. I don't think I had the Mazda at the time. Ooh. Fucking love Mazda. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, that was it. I just, I thought I was going to lose my shit. Zoom, zoom. <clears throat> uh, I thought it was three zooms. No, no it's two. It's two, I think. Really? It's, yeah. It's, it's like a whisper. Zoom, zoom, yeah. It's, it's been, it, it used to be like a little kid, like, zoom, zoom. That's so funny. Uh, uh what was your, ex- your near-death experience, Paul? My near-death experience, it wasn't as intense as that one, really, but I was at the beach, right? I think I was oh, the fucking beach. 15 years old. <laughs> beach maybe. has not been kind to us. <laughs> it was, actually, I was, I was probably maybe even 14, maybe even younger. I'm not sure. But around, it was, I was like an early teen. And uh, I was out, you know, doing the wave, and playing in the waves and everything like normal. And uh, this one wave, like, just slapped me out of nowhere and I went underwater. That's the worst. And it started, like, rolling me oh, underneath yeah. the water. Oh, I almost and I was drowned like, once. All right, this is it. <laughs> I don't know which way is up. <laughs> I have almost drowned one time. That is why I'm deathly afraid of... I respect the shit out of water because I... Same thing happened to me. I got hit by a wave and before I was... I was almost back up. I got fucked by another one. That shit's happening. And to I was too, doing yeah. like professional break dance <laughs> under the water. I was like, that, that was it. You know, every time that's ever happened to me when I'm at the beach and like I was little and got like fucking destroyed by a wave. <laughs> yeah. like, every, every time it happened. And your parents are just know, fucking laughing. Yeah, your parents are like... You'll be alright, man! Your parents are there like... Get up, you pussy. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like, every time it's happened to me, like, when I was little, I used to throw up because I end up swallowing <laughs> so much water that oh, I get out. salt water, too. Yeah. And then be like, hey, you're like, are you okay? And you'd be like, yeah, I think I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and you just end up throwing up. You're like, oh, oh, it's okay, baby. Yeah. No. All right. So oh, my God. That reminds me of another. The same time. Same time I was at the beach, right? <laughs> so, my parents are smokers. At least my, my mom and my stepdad are. And they had... They brought a soda with them, and they had a soda can. And they finished the soda, and they were ashing into the soda can. And my stepsister oh. walked up, right? <laughs> She's like, mm, my soda, right? <laughs> 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 oh, my God, dude. That's that was horrible. God, soda. <laughs> Jesus. Holy shit. I'd probably say my near-death experience is probably my transplant. Yeah, dude. Uh, Shout out to donors. Yeah. Uh, For real. Yeah, if you guys are organ donors, uh, fucking fantastic. If you're not, it's it's cool. I'm not going to be mad at you. I, I, I tried changed to that mine to for this guy. Yeah. My license um, has it. Hey, man. So the whole hey, spec story hey, real man, quick man, for you guys man. is uh, I had a bunch of kidney issues when I was growing up. And uh, long story short, I ended up needing a kidney transplant two years ago. Got it on Valentine's Day, actually, 2016. Um but yeah, I don't know. Uh, going in, like I kind of not really one to worry about stuff unless it's irrational, or when it's like <laughs> ghosts, ha- ghosts, or when it's like aliens, no. or when it's currently happening. Um, which kind of happened with the transplant. It kind of was very sudden. Um, I don't know. It was just a worry of like, am I gonna wake up from the surgery 
is something gonna happen? Are they gonna like? What if they cut like the wrong? <laughs> what if they cut the red wire? Yeah. You know what I mean? Cut like, no, nah, like, yeah. I don't know. I I kind of had that like. I mean, they 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 re. I mean, I went to the best hospital like in the fucking country, but um, I don't know. I had that, and they and they reassured me. Oh, you know, we do thousands of these. I mean, when they say thousands, it doesn't really sound like a lot, but I mean, it is a lot. But I mean, uh, that's his job, dude. Yeah, but I don't know. They reassured me that like, you know the success rate is this high and i was like okay but like you know wh- what my if? life here boy <laughs> yeah it's like what if but no oh i like mean to them I'm just obviously a statistic, but. <laughs> exactly obviously I'm, I'm fine but i don't know i there was that concern in the back of my mind like well nice seeing you <laughs> but <laughs> i'd probably say wife, I love her. i'd probably say that's the closest near-death experience i've had like just like i remember being in the surgery room and then like I fucking saw the, my new kidney sitting in a bowl. Like, <laughs> like here it is. I'm like, all right, put some fucking sriracha on there. You'd be good to go. Yeah. <laughs> nah, like I remember they were like, okay, count down from ten. I'm like, oh motherfucker, I'm gonna get this. Uh, and, uh, yeah, no, that shit's always weird. Going like taking anesthesia because they're like, oh, yeah. I bet you can't get to one. You're like, motherfucker, bet. And then you get to like seven, and you're fucking, you're out. Dude. I did that when I got my tonsils out. Yeah, and you try to you, you try to do it real quick too because you're like ten ninety seven. <laughs> just and give up. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, most times it, you wait. I mean, I woke up almost f- fucking high as shit. I remember they were giving me these I, like I don't know. I guess my mouth was dry because they put like a breathing tube in my throat. Um, and they took it out obviously, but um, I, like, they were giving me like these like these like cold like ice sponges, like <laughs> really, like sticks almost, and they were like they were like putting them in my mouth. I remember I thought they were the most amazing thing. They were like. <laughs> I remember, I remember, like, been like almost yelling in the, in the recovery room. I was like, "These are these are better than sex." And I was like, looking at court, I'm like, "Sorry, baby, but these are amazing." And my my, you know, I had court, my girlfriend, my parents, my two younger siblings, Angelo, who will be in the next podcast, hopefully, or he's gonna be a bitch and not want to do be. it. That boy's in Cape oh, Cod. Oh, yeah, he's in Cape Cod right now. Shout out, shout out, Ange. Shout out to Cape Cod uh, for probably, watching our boy. Yeah, <laughs> um, but I had Ange, and then yeah, my other friend Sean. And yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was hitting on the nurse because she kept bringing me more. I, it was amazing. Keep them coming, baby. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Keep them coming. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's gonna do it for today's podcast. If you guys did enjoy, uh, we're gonna try to get these out every, well, maybe every Friday, once a week. Uh, we don't really know. This was the first one, and it's probably all over the place, and we probably got sidetracked a lot, and maybe talked a little bit too much about certain things, but. I don't know. Like I said, first one. Uh, this has been the Young Cast. I'm Matt. I'm Tuan. I'm Paul. And we'll see you guys next episode. Peace.